Therefore, we conclude that if there is a straight line joining the points A and B with its coordinates x1, y1 and the coordinates of B being x2, y2, then the point P which divides AB internally in the ratio m is to n, say for example this P divides xy in the ratio m is to n internally then that internal ratio of the coordinates of p is given by if p divides a b internally in the ratio m is to n that implies the coordinates of P are given by the formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n and my2 plus ny1 by n plus n is what is the derived formula which is called the section formula. This formula is called the section formula. Its x coordinate and the y coordinate are given respectively with the ratio being internal in m is to n. Now let's see an example problem through which we understand the internal ratio concepts more better. As we have derived the formula very recently, let's take a problem connected to the derived formula. For example, the question is, say I have the line joining the two points this is A and this is B where my coordinates of A is minus 6 10 and my coordinates of B is 3 minus 8 and this divides in the ratio there's a point P which divides in the ratio 2 is to 7 so P divides AB in the ratio 2 is to 7 internally now I need to find the coordinates of P. So the question is what are the coordinates of P for this given problem. So clearly we know that here my m is to n is 2 is to 7 that implies I take m as 2 and n as 7 clearly. And similarly this is my x1 and this is my y1 and this is my x2 and this is my y2. Therefore, using the formula, the section formula, which says that P, the coordinates of P using the section formula is given by mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n. And similarly, the y coordinates are given by my2 plus ny1 by n plus n. So let's see how we can get the coordinates using this formula. So clearly I have m which is 2 and n which is 7 and x1, y1 and x2, y2 are also given. Therefore mx2 will be 2 times of 3 plus nx1 will be 7 times of minus 6. So that I get this to be this by m plus n. Similarly, my2 would be 2 times of minus 8 plus ny1 would be 7 times of 10 which gives me 70 by m plus n. Now further simplifying this, let's see what I get here. This would be 2 times of 3 which is 6 minus 6 sevenths 42 by 2 plus 7 which is 9. Similarly, this on simplification gives minus 16 plus 70 by 9, which has to be simplified further. So 6 minus 42 is minus 36 over 9, and this 70 minus 16 is 54 by 9 is what I get. On further simplification. This can be further simplified to get 9 ones 
nine fours, nine ones, nine six, so that this is minus four comma six. Therefore, the coordinates of P are identified to be minus four comma six. So we understand that the point which divides a b in the ratio two is to seven is minus four six. Therefore, p equal to this divides. AB in the ratio 2 is to 7 is how we understand the concept of a point dividing the line internally in the ratio M is to N. Now let's take the special cases where P divides AB in a special ratios. Initially to start with, say for example, I have the line AB for which P divides AB in the ratio K is to 1. So if P divides AB internally in the ratio K is to 1, so let's see how the formula reduces. Now as I can clearly see here, the coordinates are fixed as X1, Y1 and B as X2, Y2 but my ratio which was M reduces to K and my N reduces to 1. M is to N is K is to 1 therefore M is K and N is 1. Therefore my formula which says the coordinates of P are MX2 plus NX1 by M plus N and similarly MY2 plus NY1 by m plus n reduces to substitution of m equal to k and n equal to 1. Therefore, when I substitute m equal to k, I get here kx2 plus 1 times of x1 because n is 1 by m plus n reduces to k plus 1. Similarly, my y coordinate would reduce to ky2 plus 1 times of y1 by k plus 1 which on further simplification gives me the formula kx2 plus x1 by k plus 1 ky2 plus y1 by k plus 1 as the coordinates of the point which divides ab internally in the ratio k is to 1 is how we understand this as a special case. Now that we have derived a formula for finding the coordinates of the point which divides the line internally in the ratio m is to n, also we have a special case of understanding can we identify the midpoint of a line because a midpoint is a point which is equidistant from the both the coordinates on either side. So when I take P is the midpoint of AB, I say PA is equal to PB. In that case, what will be the ratio? For a midpoint case, let's see what the ratio is. To restart with the midpoint case, if P is midpoint of AB, then we have the coordinates of A and B which are fixed as x1, y1 and the coordinates of B which are fixed as x2, y2 but since P is the midpoint it is equidistant from A and B this equal to this therefore in this case because these two distances are equal I get equal ratio so that this becomes 1 is to 1. Let's see how that implies from here I get PA equals PB. So when these two distances are equal, I always guessed that implies I get the ratio which is always 1 is to 1. This is very important. For a midpoint, the ratio is 1 is to 1. 
So in this case, since the ratio is 1 is to 1, that implies my m equals 1 and my m equals 1. Since this is in the form of m is to n, with m equal to 1 and n equal to 1, I get the values of m and n. Now, as I have the formula for finding the coordinates of p as mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n and etc. for y, let's see how this reduces to. Since my m equal to 1 and n equal to 1, therefore, when I have, when I use the formula for p, p equals mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n, my2 plus ny1 by n plus n reduces to the form m being 1 and n being 1, 1x2 plus 1x1 by 1 plus 1, 1y2 plus 1y1 by 1 plus 1 because m is 1 and n is 1. So this on further simplification gives me when arranged x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 2 which is generally called the midpoint. P is called the midpoint of P and this formula is called midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula says that x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 is the midpoint formula. Therefore, the midpoint formula says that to identify the point which is exactly equidistant from A and B on the line L can be found using the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2, the midpoint which we call as the coordinate of the point P.